What up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be jumping into my top 12 peptides that have proven to be effective from my research. And not only that, we're going to be talking about clinical trials. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so this first one, not a lot of people talk about, and I feel it's underrated, but one of the most effective peptides and one of the most needed peptides for us, it's a tripeptide. So the first one we're gonna talk about, glutathione is the body's primary intracellular antioxidant, consisting of three amino acids, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. It is an essential molecule for cellular protection. Every cell in the human body relies on glutathione to neutralize oxidative stress, recycle other antioxidants, maintain mitochondrial integrity, and support detoxification pathways. As a result, declining levels of glutathione are strongly associated with aging, inflammation, and metabolic stress. So as we can see, this is pretty incredible peptide right here, and we should not look past it. We can either do at-home research, or we can go to a med spa, or even anti-aging doctors. I go to a place called the Hydration Room. So that's glutathione, the first one, okay? All right, let's go into tesamorelin. So tesamorelin, I've had the most incredible results with for building muscle, burning fat, cognitive function, overall health and wellness, energy, and anti-aging, because when you're releasing GH into your system, you're getting all these anti-aging benefits as well. So tesamorelin is a synthetic GHRH analog that stimulates the natural release of growth hormone by acting on the pituitary gland rather than providing synthetic GH directly. In randomized trials, tesamorelin has been shown to reduce visceral adipose tissue, VAT, by roughly 15 to 20% over about 12 to 6 months. That's huge. This is more visceral fat, but let me tell you, it is fat burning, okay? So this is not a magic bullet. We need to work out. We need to eat healthy. We need to sleep right. I've had the best results with tesamorelin and ipamorelin, okay? We got ipamorelin, which is a selective growth hormone secretagogue that stimulates natural release of growth hormone without significantly affecting cortisol or prolactin levels in research settings. Yes, tesamorelin works great on its own. Yes, CJC1295 works great on its own. But when you pair it with ipamorelin, you're going to get twice the mechanism, twice the action, twice the benefits. This is why they're often researched together, okay? Now, CJC1295, no DAC, otherwise known as MODGRF1 through 29, this is an incredible peptide. And we're going to talk about CJC1295, no DAC versus DAC as well in this, okay? So CJC1295 without DAC, also known as MODGRF, is a short-acting GHRH analog studied alongside GHRP peptides like ipamorelin. It supports natural pulsatile GH release, aligning with the body's physiological rhythm rather than focusing on sustained elevations. Why no DAC is preferred over DAC? The DAC version binds to albumin, extending GH stimulation for longer than the body's regular pulses. While effective, it removes the natural rise and fall pattern of GH release. The no DAC version allows the body to maintain true physiological GH pulses, which is why it is studied more frequently for recovery, sleep regulation, metabolic support and overall hormone balance. The CJC1295 no DAC and ipamorelin provided me with excellent benefits and I did that for almost a year of my research. I would do 16 weeks on, one month off. 16 weeks on, one month off. Uh, CJC1295 no DAC, absolutely incredible. All right, so GHKCU is a copper binding regenerative tripeptide known for its roles in collagen support, hair restoration, tissue remodeling, anti-inflammatory gene expression, and antioxidant activity. Because it naturally occurs in human plasma and decreases with age, GHKCU is widely studied for cosmetic and regenerative applications. I see more benefits actually with GHKCU. Anytime I have any type of back pain or shoulder pain, I feel Feel like it addresses it and really helps with overall pain anti-inflammatory as well as other benefits and then a lot of the benefits from ghkcu from publications were in the topical form so topical is absolutely incredible there's a company called skin biology i can't link them in my bio because i'm not an affiliate but skin biology absolutely incredible uh, topical formulations and creams. I would definitely recommend them. There's just so many remarkable benefits with GHKCU. All right, so this next one I do like. It helps with sleep. It helps me feel happy. I don't know. Every time I research this peptide, I feel happy, man. Don't worry, be happy. I feel happy. I feel happy. Just happy, man, all the time.
So epithalamin natural extract and its synthetic version epitalin were developed and studied extensively in Russia as part of early longevity research. One of the leading scientists who helped discover and publish much of the foundational work is no longer alive. But that does not diminish the scientific interest in this peptide. Multiple studies spanning from cell, animal, and small human groups have reported potential benefits including telomerase activation, antioxidant effects, and improved circadian regulation and markers associated with healthy aging. While large human trials remain lacking, epitalin remains a compelling research peptide with decades of data supporting meaningful biological activity and promising potential for future study. And we can't really see if it's right away helping with telomere lengthening, but it is a peptide that we can research two to three times a year and over a lifetime span, hopefully really be beneficial for us. And then next we have KPV. I absolutely love KPV. I take an oral form. It's actually a blend of KPV, BPC-157, and it helps me out so much with my gut. The best gut formulation, I absolutely love these capsules right here. I recommend them for anybody that has gut issues. I've also done KPV on its own, and that's helped with skin and overall gut inflammation and just really like KPV. It's one of my favorites. KPV is a small anti-inflammatory peptide that comes from the alpha MSH hormone. It's been widely researched for calming irritation in the gut and the skin. Several published studies have shown that KPV help reduce inflammation conditions like colitis, supporting the healing of intestinal lining, and improve overall gut balance. Um, helps with skin inflammation, including psoriasis, dermatitis, and acne, where it helps calm redness, irritation, and support the skin barrier. Because it is naturally occurring peptide fragment and doesn't overstimulate the body, researchers often highlight KPV for its potential to support both gut and skin health without harsh effects. And the gut formulation, absolutely incredible. Now, this is obviously one that is probably one of the most popular a lot of people love it, but then there's a lot of people that say they have never seen benefits from it. But if we're researching it, 500 micrograms of BPC-157 have shown to be very beneficial for anti-aging protocol, 500 micrograms. But if we do need wound healing, tissue repair, or, or have severe injuries or chronic pain, then bumping that up to one to two milligrams even higher in some cases, depending on how bad the injury is or what we need recovery from. Uh, it is a peptide that comes from a natural protective protein found in the stomach environment, and it's widely researched for tissue repair, gut support, and reducing inflammation. Many studies have shown strong regenerative properties. For example, research published in the Journal of Orthopedic Surgery and Research found that BPC-157 helped improve healing and damaged tendons. And another study in the Journal of PLOS, one showed benefits in blood vessel repair and improved recovery after injury. Because of the range of research across tendon, muscle, nerve, and gut models, BPC-157 is often highlighted as one of the most versatile pair focused peptides in animal studies. Although large human trials are still lacking, many have seen incredible results. If we are researching it, then I believe it should be paired with TB500 because they both work very synergistically and can help with rapid repair, but it depends what we're researching them for. Okay, so next we do have TB500 and this is what's usually paired with BPC-157, we do have real studies here. TB-500, otherwise known as thymosin beta-4, why I like peptide sciences is because they use the full 43 amino acid sequence. TB-500 is a fragment of TB-4 or thymosin beta-4, and a lot of companies, peptide companies, only use that fragment, the TB-500, so always make sure the company you're getting it from or the vendor you're getting it from has the full 43 amino acid sequence. Peptide Sciences is the full 43 amino acid sequence. And they don't, they don't joke around or cheap out on this. That's why I do love peptide sciences, okay? So TB500 is the research version of thymosin beta-4, a naturally occurring peptide involved in repair, regeneration, and cell migration. It has been studied for its potential to support healing in muscle, tendon, and heart tissue. So if we had a stroke, TB500 has been shown to repair heart tissue incredibly fast. 
That's why TB500, not only, it just speeds up wound healing. TB500 is also being researched for improving mobility and tissue flexibility for reducing inflammation. Thanks to its impact on actin and major protein involved in cell movement and repair, several publications show benefits in soft tissue recovery, including tendon and ligament injuries and improved healing after muscle trauma. Like I said, I've researched BPC-157 and TB-500. I usually do separate vials. If we need to repair an injury, then it's best to keep these peptides in circulation. As we can see right here, a lot of individuals think that thymosin beta-4 or TB-4 has a long half-life. It's rapidly cleared within almost six hours. So we're, if we really want to speed up uh, recovery, then it's best to do it morning time and evening time. And then once the injury has healed, then doing a maintenance or tapering off two to three times a week at a higher amount has been shown to be very effective. But if we do have a fresh injury or just trying to repair or recover, then keeping it in circulation has shown to be very beneficial. So that's TB500. Definitely incredible results. So with this next one, there's tons of clinical human trials. I've researched it, had great benefits, and not only that, tons of insane anecdotal reports. So obviously we know this, retitrutide. So retitrutide is a triple agonist that targets GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon receptors and is currently being studied for its potential to enhance metabolism and manage weight. Clinical trials have reported some of the highest weight loss outcomes in metabolic peptide research with reductions up to approximately 24% of body weight in certain long duration studies. So that's up to 24%. This one has proven to be very effective and it also helps with keeping on lean muscle mass because it does help with the glucagon receptors. Okay, now let's jump into MOTC. MOTC is a mitochondrial derived peptide studied for its role in metabolic regulation, exercise capacity, and cellular stress adaptation. Research shows that MOTC may improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism and support pathways relevant to type 2 diabetes models. I really like MOTC, notice tons of energy, and I do get more shredded. So MOTC, I don't stay on your round, and I've noticed incredible benefits. All right, so this is my last one. This is NAD. This is a molecule, but I just want to throw this in here because NAD is one that I think we should do year round because this is going to help support our mitochondria health. And it has given me incredible benefits with skin, hair, overall energy, mental clarity, just the way I feel and the way that my day to day is. So NAD, I definitely recommend. And this is my number 12. It is a molecule, but this is my list of 12. These are all the peptides that I've actually researched or molecules and have had substantial to incredible benefits. The one thing we need to remember when it comes to peptides is we do need to work out. We need to, we need to take excellent care of ourselves. You have to put in the work to make them work, right? So that's just, that's how it goes. But glutathione is one that we should be taking regardless as it does help with antioxidants and shuttling antioxidants into our cells. And this is great for longevity. So this is Casey with Living Youthful. This is my top 12 peptides that have delivered proven results, not only for me, but I've seen anecdotal reports firsthand as well as tons of patients that I've talked with has benefited them too. So if this has provided value for you guys, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.